Hello everyone, in this video I will discuss about intrusion detection technique. So what is intrusion detection technique? So IPS systems are similar to IDS system or intrusion detection system. It detects and prevent identified threats. So it works based on you know predefined knowledge base or it can have you know good section uh, check uh, either the uh, new checksum is uh, matching with them or not or, and there is uh, there are many uh, other methods we will go through we will see it can be host based uh, intrusion detection system it can be network based it can be network behavior based or it can be wire based intrusion detection system so as uh, we know that intrusion prevention systems uh, reacts right only intrusion detection system only detect a threat but prevention system can react also to any attack so it uh, triggers a defense mechanism if available or it disconnect the attack channel or it can quarantine uh, the infected systems so what it does do it can identify suspicious activity log in log the security event and attempt to block the intrusion to limit damage it can limit your damage and report intr uh, intrusion attack so it also reports the item of intrusion to the uh, administrator so how does the system look like so it has mainly four components the traffic analyzer normalizer the outside uh, no, the from outside whatever traffics are coming so this traffic normalizer normalizes then it goes to system scanner it scan it and it sends uh, you know, based on the um, match, you know, scan result either to the detection engine or signature matching so if it is signature based matching is possible the signature matcher will match uh, and to check whether some existing signature is matching uh, with uh, it or not and otherwise it will come to the detection engine and it will try to detect using some machine learning method and other methods are there okay then it uh, sent to the traffic shaping and traffic shaping will you know communicate with the reference table so these are the main part others are, other thing is uh, here the detection engine or the signature matching if failures or it gets uh, okay this is a good uh, traffic coming in then it alert the manager accordingly and the manager can take response um, uh, uh, yeah, some response uh, can be taken right so there are uh, two kind of anomaly uh, uh, network activity one is called baseline another is called anomaly so baseline activities are defined are uh, you know def defines what are abnormal or malicious behavior looks like so you have a you know, set of activities which are actually you know that they are abnormal activity or malicious activity okay and some anomalous activities are these are the activity which are happening okay so setting up clear baseline will save time to prevent anomalous activity so anomalous activities are the activity which are you know basically attacks so it is false positive and you know, false negative uh, activities if the network has slightly unusual normal behavior so you can see that uh, you know base activities and anomalous activ act activities are overlapping so if this overlap sections are basically known as now the anatomy of intrusion analysis is look like this the incoming traffic first process okay the pre-process data goes for analysis analysis means it has the detection models okay and based on that it classify then it alerts the system and it takes the response okay it can uh, action or whatever response are taken based on the decision criteria and finally that response are going to be recorded to refinement of the 
models. Here, uh, the difference between IDS and IPS, I'm not going to uh, reading out all this line by line. So, go ahead. What are the goals of intrusion detection and prevention system? The first thing is that it creates the record of relative activity for flow up so that in future you can follow up them. Then it determines determine the flows of the network, that means weakness of the network based on some detected specific activity. It records unauthorized activity, whatever happened previously. It had the it creates the record of that activity. It acts as a deterrent to malicious activity. So these are the main goals. Why it is important? It is important because of the legal and regulatory issues. So currently, if I say this uh, GDPR came in 2016 uh, by the EU. So this is a big one, uh, big uh, regulation uh, in you know, European countries. Yeah. Then in India, the Personal Data Protection Bill came in 2019. Then another public law called FISM in of 2002. So these are the legal issues to be satisfied when you are you know, handling public data or storing data in the server and you have to assure to save them from the attacks or outside access. Okay, then quantification of the attack, if there some attack happened, how we are going to quantify it, then establishment of an overall defense in-depth strategy for your data. Some more uh, importance are here, detecting the intrusion automatically, in-depth knowledge base you are going to creating, then large volume of data can be dealt with, it is almost you know, in real time, in, uh, text action then automated response uh, for it built in forensic capabilities built in reporting capabilities so these are the importance here everything comes in a single slide what we came through in last three videos so thank you for watching